Alicia Ogelo Cook. Famously referred to as Alicia Keys is an American singer, songwriter, actress and pianist born on January 25, 1981 in New York. Raised single-handedly by her mother in Hell's Kitchen, Manhattan, Alicia had a very rough adolescence as she was regularly exposed to street violence, drugs, prostitution and constant exposure to sexual propositions in an area plagued by crime and instability. Alicia Keys began her musical journey at the tender age of four and took up the piano at age seven. By age 12, she had already written her first song, an emotional tribute to her departed grandfather which she composed on the piano. Encouraged by her mother, she participated in various extracurricular activities and enrolled in the professional performing at school at 12, where she majored in choir and studied music, dance and theater. In 1994, Alicia met Jeff Robinson, a talented music industry executive who soon recognized her talent and became her manager. He helped her assemble a series of demos and showcased them to various label executives. Fortunately, their hard work paid off and at the age of 15, Alicia Keys signed her first major record deal with Columbia Records. She then decided to drop out of college to pursue music full-time. In 1996, Alicia performed Little Drama Girl for So So Dev's Christmas compilation and later co-wrote the song Da Dida Sexy Thing for the Men in Black film soundtrack in 1997. Columbia Records then assigned a team of songwriters and producers to collaborate with Alicia on her music. They were however resistant to her creative input and preferred having others create the music for her, dismissing her prepared compositions and pushing for their own agenda. After several disputes, Alicia Keys decided to leave Columbia Records. Leaving Columbia Records was not easy for Alicia, as they threatened to retain all her music. However, with help from Clive Davis, the then president of Arista Records, they negotiated her release from the contract, allowing Keys to take her music with her. Davis was impressed by her songs and signed her to the label in 1998. There, she was given the creative freedom and control she wanted. Alicia Keys has revealed that she almost chose Alicia Wilde as her stage name, but was discouraged by her mother who felt that the name made her look like a stripper. Alicia Keys revealed that her stage name, Keys, came from a dream. The name resonated with her because of its connection to playing the piano, the idea of opening doors and the desire to make a meaningful impact in her career. In 2000, Davis left Arista Records after his contract expired and formed his own label, J Records, signing Keys immediately to the label. Alicia Keys then released her debut single, Fallen, on April 10, 2001. It attained commercial success as it soared to number one on the US Billboard Hot 100, becoming her first hit song. On June 5, she also released her debut album, Songs in A Minor. Originally titled Soul Stories in A Minor, the title of the album was changed over concerns that it would limit exposure to only black radio stations. Despite the album's title, only two songs, Jane Doe and Mr. Man featuring Jimmy Kozia, are actually in the key of A minor, with Mr. Man serving as a debut collaboration. Songs in A minor debuted atop the Billboard 200 chart, selling 236,000 copies in its first week and 12 million copies internationally. It was certified six times platinum by the Recording Industry Association of America. At the 44th Annual Grammy Awards, he swept away five awards including Song of the Year, the Best Female R&B Vocal Performance, the Best R&B Song, Best New Artist and Best R&B Album. In doing so, she became the second female solo artist to win five Grammys in one night, following in the footsteps of Lauryn Hill. Thanks for watching this video till the end. Do you want to know how your favorite celebrity got their big break? Drop their names in the comment section and we'll create videos about them. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel and hit on the notification bell for more videos. Manabo will see you next time.